Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers of Mine Colonies. My name is Raycombs, this is Mine Colonies and we're here on our nice Patreon server with a whole lot of Patreons today. I'm seeing we are almost 20 as I was logging in. Oh, a whole bunch of people online today. Um, S Sam Letters forgot to update and is currently in the progress of doing so. So he'll be joining us in a little bit. I'm going to say hi to John, Greg, Ross. Hi, Fairwolf. How are you guys doing? Hi, Ninja and Mimi. Um, yes, I do have to, to update the About box and the description. The description in general a little bit. Uh, yeah, he he had already the launcher launched, and then he I told him that he has to update as well, so he's currently ah the the video yeah yeah, yeah. so he's currently launching probably the update should be finished, although he has a little bit uh, a, a little slow pipe syndrome with his internet, so it might need a little bit longer. So let's check what our builders are up to. So probably a good starting point. Hi Chenelise, how are you doing? So that one here is still working on the lumberjack. Gonna Connor. Over that head. Um, got a delivery coming for you. So let's check on Fortune and Avery as well. Um, Fortune was working on the minor level 5. And she is going to want a bunch of lava buckets. And Avery is working at the university. That is that is an excellent question. Um, I'm kind of in between of um, Sam Letters having fun. And actually something is really knocking them out. I wonder if some letters just wants to enter from the top and then just knocks out one after <laughs> at a time. Um, hi. Uh, hi, Chef. I haven't said hi to you. Did have, have I? Um, more stone, more nether bricks. Do, do, do. We want to put all that stone to our builder. And he's going to enjoy that for sure. Because Avery is needing a lot of these. Um, nice. The new changes just went on as well as you can see what in the chat. Next? Um, our In our absence our researchers did some extra ward. I don't think so, honestly. They should not be doing that. Um, so our uh, researchers should be doing some extra speed at the moment. Which could be pretty nice. Um, I wanted to check on fortune. And I guess I'm going to have to make a whole lot of buckets of lava for her. What can I do for you? Okay, she got all of these. So I guess we start with the lava buckets now. Uh, until Sam Letters is coming online. How many was it? It was a bunch, right? 34. So we don't even have enough iron with us at the moment. And what? This here, I think that's when a multi-line one is. Yes, redstone powered. We got the research finished right now as well. That's neat. So it appears to be working. We got some relatively high level researchers. So the bonus we're getting is really nice. So let's check us, let's check out quickly. Ah, uh, ah uh, here, oh yeah. That's a little bit too much. Yes. <coughs> doop, doop, doop. Technology. So let's see what 
So we have missing requirements. We do want the dyer, but for that we need the florist level 3 first. Um, requires sawmill. <sighs> that we don't need right now. Mm. And that is level 4 only. So we can't do that either. And yeah, that's a lot of iron. Let's check out the civilian research. We got that one running already. And let's increase the school teaching. Let's do we have some books? No, I'm going to get some books. Um let me already check on another research while I'm on it. Oops. Um and we do want probably to increase our archer damage a little bit, so I want to get some flint. No, it's in the progress still. No one has picked that one up yet. Um, so let me get some flint first. Then I'm going to bump up the florist. Uh, wait. Flint, flint, flint. Oh, only two? That's kind of bad. Um, let me check if we have in our base any flint. Sam Letters is still starting up. Yes. He's not even in voice yet. So we're going to see when his tube internet has finally finished. And he's able to join us. Anyway, I can put a few more of these here to get stone bricks. Probably a good idea. If anything else, maybe here nine more. There. There we go. Probably the chunk loading. So we do want to go to the smelter. Quickly too. Um, Need another shipment. Almost finished. I got more iron ore. I can give him. Beauty and the color of the embers. So Maybe he is. Something? What is his primary skill level? You need something smelted. Oh, his primary twenty. So he has a forty ch percent chance of tripling the ore. So that is pretty nice. But first we have to sleep. I got my sleeping bag here. Uh, let's wait for them to go to bed first and then we can sleep ourselves quickly. And then I won't... I, w I will try to not forget better um, to go to sleep. Uh, to get flint I mean of course. Um, okay, I think I'm ready to sleep. Then some letters still didn't show in voice. Starting up. Do do do. Okay. And then I really hope for some of that flint to be there. Okay. I want to recall you. Hey, you need something smelted? Yeah, you're supposed to be smelting that. This looks quite terrifying to be honest. Then I want to go here and check for some flint. Choo -choo -choo. Flint. There's no flint down here at least. Flint up here. Does three? Yeah, so it appears we are missing flint. 
We should have a bunch of gravel though. And we have an OP <coughs> shovel. So that might work. Yeah, that smelter looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Um, the dumb. Probably the server is lagging because we have so many people online. That's why the chunk loading distance is low. So let's get some sa um, gravel. 29 gravel? That is pretty poor. That is pretty poor. Let me see if I don't find any gravel down in our mine. Gravel, gravel. Wait. Oh, I wanted to look here. Gravel. That's end the side. But I know there are usually some big pockets of gravel as well. Just gotta find it. It does look too similar. The level 5 blacksmith. I imagine this is going to look great probably. Um, Stone, stone. All these blocks make it kind of difficult to detect gravel, to be honest. Chum chum chum. <laughs> None of this appears to be... Oh, I have some magical flint appeared. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ninja and Mimi. So. No. I went to the mine. You see? I didn't get lost underground. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Um, so. I'm going to be going over here. Oops. Back to our crawler. Because I heard magically some flint appeared. Did you put it here? Ah! <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Highly appreciated. Um, then we can run there quickly and start the next research. Choo choo choo. And we start that research to increase our archer damage a little bit. Does have been a little bit weak, let's say. Um, combat here. Archer damage. Should be started now. Yes. And now we got all in progress. Into one that gets more also. Hi Sam so letters. We added quite a few new, new ones as well. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of the combat research yet. So that's why yeah. also. Um, now that Sam letters is, is on, I can start oh, yeah. my I can start my rant of of the rats mod. I I just had to make a really decent sized rant. Oh, no. Just because of anger. <laughs> so I thought, after a day of uh, tons of coding and stuff, I'm going to go to an on the Forgecraft server and relax a little bit. I had so I had thought. Out of the blue, half of my colony was on fire. And I was like, what's happening with my colony? Why is it on fire? So first I thought it was my fault because the blacksmith I started had some some block in it, some lava or something like this. Um, that was causing this. I thought, ah, that's probably it. And so I got rid of all of the fire. 
piece by piece running I think I had around six or seven of the spruce buildings on fire I was like okay I think I got it then I looked out of my colony and I saw the entire forest on fire and I was like what is happening that's weird so I went into this forest oh well, I forgot to replant the cactus and I found a rat with a, a kind of like a dragon rat there. That was a pack of dragon rats, like six dragon rats, that were basically traveling through the entire world and putting everything in their path on fire. Oh wow! Um, apparently, someone created them and tamed them, and then they just spread all over the world <laughs> now they had 22 armor so that with my power f uh, 5 bow I took w half a heart of damage yes it was one of Soren's rats I was like what who why why would you create Oh, nice. We got a bunch of research finishing now. Why would you create a mod? Or not a mod, but a mob in your mod that is so overpowered that it's basically impossible to kill it via vanilla means and travels all over the <sighs> world and puts everything on fire? <sighs> to force people to play your and force people to interact with this mod. It's like, I guess, barbarians can be pretty horrible, but if you don't ha have, if you get a, mine, a colony, you know what's coming for you, right? Yeah, and if you don't get a colony, you don't get barbarians. And if you don't get a colony, exactly, you don't get a barbarians. We could spawn them always for everyone, that would be fun, right? Yeah, we could just do it the same way and spawn them for everyone. Just like Reds does it, but we don't. <laughs> because that would be super mad. <laughs> You probably need some overpowered weapons from the rats mod to kill them, probably. So if you don't have the rats mod, you're basically doomed to see everything burn down. I guess and so, yeah. So, actually, basically what happened then is that now, on the server, there's a com uh, command running in, uh, in a common block, I think, regularly. That kills that mob. <laughs> oh <man. laughs> Thanks a lot, John, for the uh, for the cheer. So like, wh why? Who who does something like this? This is just like, why would you do something like this? Like those pipe pipers are already horrible enough to be forced to interact with them then you have the regular drag infestation on top of that that is all also pretty bothersome but this is all not enough for him he needs to have dragon rats that are impossible to kill and put everything on fire for everyone on the server lord Literally, some people just like to watch the world bo burn. Literally. What's next? Hi, the realm. How are you doing? Want to know how builders party? We raise the roof. Cactus trap door. You're lucky. I got some of this around. No. Couldn't it wait till Monday? Cactus trap door. I have to teach to my sawmill. Hi the realm. I'm not sure if I said hi already, but definitely now I say I said hi. 
Um, cactus trapdoor. Cactus trapdoor. Done. And then I got paper. Uh, what else did I want to get? There was something else I wanted to get. Hmm. I have to double check there again then. I mean, the first time I saw the red mod, I thought this looks this looks pretty neat, right? I, th I just thought this looks pretty neat. That's a nice idea as well. Kind of plays along with it could play along nicely with mine colonies or so. There's like a bunch of things you could do, could be nice. But now I'm just thinking like, what the hell? <laughs> Wheat seeds. I think we're still out of these. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. I want to get some leather. Yeah, good concept, nice idea, horrible integration <laughs> in any server. It's like good for single player, like you put it particularly in your mod pack because you want to play with it. Then it's nice, but besides that, um, leather. So here we got twenty nine of it. But I need thirty two. I think it was. I think we have some leather still in our corner. Doop doo doo. Letter. Yes. I'm getting the research so that our miner can't get burned anymore. I think that's a good one to have, definitely. Oh. Chup, chup, chup. Okay. So, so I was seriously considering adding a, a check in the permission handler on chunk enter if off red mod <laughs> kill <laughs> all of them <laughs> uh, I want to get some more iron as well if off red mod kill all of them print message your colony successfully evaded <laughs> a red infestation I wanted to go here. Get some more iron. That one is still running, but now we got enough. Um, and we can make the remaining buckets as well. There we go. Um, we have to sleep again too. But first, let's run there, drop off a few things in our inventory. We currently are not. Ah, no, that one we, we're needing. Those things we aren't. The water bucket meter. Yes. Yes. Dup, dup, dum. We still got people coming home, but I guess that is because of the short chunk loading distance we have currently. Doop, 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 doop. Um, was it technology? Yes. Research started. That's what I wanted to hear. Now, we can dump those in the inventory and we go to the nether and get... Um lava. I didn't know that you can only stack buckets to 32. Oh, okay. I didn't know that either. Any particular reason? No. <laughs> Just arbitrary. I, I would love if, if there was like a real rule behind it, right? Like a bucket, 
Like you can't stack uh, 64 ingots since a bucket requires 3 ingots you can only stack um, yeah. a portion of a percentage like divided by 3, 64 amount of buckets Ah! That would at least be some some kind of rule or so This just happened, I'm not sure I just did you die? No, I'm not sure. I just threw a bucket in lava. One I almost threw in lava, but maybe one actually entered. I'm going to see if I have enough for the miner. Yeah, the same the reason we can stack <laughs> snowballs to 16. But a ruler would be really awesome. And that could be simple, right? It makes it makes a lot of sense, right? You could say you can only stack 16 logs because you can make 64 planks out of it. Or you could even say you can stack planks to 256 because that's 64 logs together, either way. There we go to fortune and bring her the lava buckets. I hope I have enough. I have a bunch in my, uh, my backpack, I forgot. I got shocked for a moment. Apparently, I didn't drop any. That's good news. Yes, sir. So, get all these are still under request. So, I guess that's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that is that. That just op would open a huge. Um, pile of worms then because then when a player removes a stack where the max stack size is different that would cause a bunch of problems but yes M minecraft is not known for logic reason or things that seem to be well thought through it's more about arbitrary number combinations <laughs> I don't even know if you can easily adjust um, stacks, things to be stackable bigger, or if you need to use some kind of core modding for that. Mm. Not sure. Um, I did today um, rework a bunch of the random pathfinding we have. I still have to make a pull request out of it and then get a few people to uh, take a look at it. But basically what it does, it changes the way our a bunch of our worker are walking around. No, not workers. Uh, we have the trainees in the... Oh, nice. We got the trainees in the combat academy in archery that have a random walking around task and the students, the pupils, also have a recess task, kinda. That also makes them walk randomly around. And besides that, the guards have th their random patrol. And the citizens, when they're unemployed, got a random task as well. At the moment, the problem of those is that they are using a v vanilla way to do it let's say it like this and this means we just choose a run random position around the citizen as the next position to go to and as you people might know that doesn't necessarily mean that this position is smart or reachable that position could be lava 
um, or could be in a, ca a cave under them. Um, so it could not be reachable. So what we talked about a little bit ago already was to actually use our pathfinder to find a random position in a random direction around the citizen and then we can be sure that this position is reachable because we used a pathfinder to find it. And that will probably stop them to teleport into caves etc. This doesn't stop, stop them from doing stupid stuff. They can still go to places where they can't come back anymore. Yeah. But Even they don't teleport to... But they don't teleport... Normally unreachable, unreachable places yeah. anymore. They don't uh, teleport on top of roofs or trees or into caves anymore. That is basically fixed by that. Um, Theoretically, this this approach we're using could be nice because we could extend that to check if that the place they're reaching is reachable from the opposite direction as well. Yeah. Um, that could be an extension of this, right? We should get the the bad wither no cookie mod on the on the server yeah or as a sound marker mod Do -do -do. i could help you with that demon okay let's demon let's picked start. up a bunch age i just turned off all minecraft sound <laughs> got to make minecraft huh Apparently, the demon pickup doesn't. It now it worked. Apparently, the demon pickup might not mark the rack as dirty. Let me write that down quickly. That would um, be weird. So, aren't they using our normal extract and such? Yeah, it's it's it is it is definitely weird. It should be no problem. Yeah, let me check out the university basement, how that is coming along. There should be some BM, some stone bricks placed around there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not sure if he is doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see here. Look. All right. Placing stone bricks <coughs> all over the floor. Let me see if we have to put some. Yeah, I thought so. I have to put some lights. There's a dark spot here, John. It was even red. So, here. Here's a dark spot, too. Oh, apparently, he's now basically finished with another dark spot. I guess that's where the entire wither skeleton spawned. I'm going to go, go, go through yeah. all the basement now and see if there are any dark spots left. Choo -choo -choo. Now here he is missing the flooring still. He's kind of like halfway through now. Choo -choo -choo. Any torch? Ah, here he is coming. Here is another dark spot. Yeah, but this here was not a uh, popped torch. This is just too far away from any other torch. And the other popped torch was a torch that I had placed there. Oh, compass. Nice, nice idea. I like that one. It was a popped torch I had placed manually in the floor. Choop, choop, choop. I should get some more cobblestone and then I can put that in our smelters. Oh, here too. Oops. 
So I put that here. That's good enough, isn't it? That is good enough. Perfect. And on the other on the top as well. There are some needed torches. Then do 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 here as well. Better. Um, I want to go on the inside the warehouse, not around it, actually, to get the cobblestone I had talked about. Um, what do we have a lot of? Um, diorite is our number one. Then we have diorite, we need a lot, I remember. And the side, we don't, might not need as much, right? So, I'm going to take all of that and then melt it. That works, yes. Um, the dumb. Finding a bunch of these spots all over the colony. And we can put those in the furnace. Oops. Hi Dragon Hunter, how are you doing? I need that andesite for the level 3 enchanter. I'm not sure I have the courage. What is happening there? Why is this burning so strongly? It's kind of weird. And I'm not stone. Oh. Um, do I have some more? Yes, I do. I do. I'm prepared. And those have the lower ones, not really. Okay. Then I can make more stone bricks here and deliver them over here. Avery and we are only missing what another 5,000 um, and now another 2,300 stone bricks I'm not sure if we have enough stuff for that That's okay I gotta true. sleep again but I guess a lot of stone spirit I can make it. Yeah, but I mean we don't have enough material to convert to cobble for it. No, we should. At least he can convert all that granite and... No, but we I converted a lot of the granite already. And now we don't have a lot of that left anymore. Let me put those things here in the warehouse. Uh, those I can keep. Those oh, things. Can use a uh, 2k in the side we had so here. Yeah, but we need that possibly as well for other buildings. So I'm concerned. Oh. Chuk chuk. Then our Maya needs to get some blocks. <laughs> um, Do we have a miner? So, I guess that is organized. Then can I drop off some of the things? Oh, Ninja came by. Um, I guess he's supplying us again with something. He might be giving us some cobble. I, we did find out what possibly could be causing some of the issues of the miner. Oh, nice. Um, because the miner doesn't mark the miner building dirty on changing nodes, adding uh -huh. nodes, etc. 
So that could be causing a bunch of issues. Welcome Void Varian to the stream. So yeah, if it's not marked. If it's not marked dirty and mm. you shut the server down after changing a few of the after the miner achieving a few things. And that could mean that the like if the miner is like in the middle of the node and then a new node is created, but that new node like he doesn't know the type of the node anymore and these kinds of things. So he might create another node there. I don't serve Asha, only are saving everything, not just dirty mark. No, but only if uh, Mark Dirty was sent for the colony since then. No, the Mark Dirty is just used for sending it to uh, view data. No, Mark Dirty is also used to mark the colony view dirty. It's to mark the colony dirty for storage itself. Yeah, it's used for blocks, like tile entities, chests. No, but also for the colony itself to store. Um, to avoid writing our colony to NBT all the time, to the colony capability. Uh, because it does it more often. So we only do that when we mark the colony dirty. Okay. And then also not always, but there's some restrictions to it, but if we don't mark a, a node dirty, a building dirty because of something that ca can cause the loss of data in many cases. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that was some. And that was some important water drinking. Choo choo choo. Mm. Oh, we have a bunch of cobbled here left. I hadn't seen that. Hi Ninja. Ah, you dropped off some more blocks for us. Thanks a lot as well. I didn't see that we had those here left, so... I totally had forgotten about these, but that is definitely going to help us a lot. Thanks. I'd, I won't ever enter the mining dimension again. This is just too overpowered. This shouldn't be. I can't understand the use of, uh, of of vein miner and different kinds of things to a certain degree. But this OP oh, mining dimension we are having is even too much for me. Especially in this colony here is particularly about playing survival. Um, let me deliver the stone again. Oh, I'm kind of not a fan of vanilla cobble again either. I yeah. find it... That is probably one of the lesser balanced things. I'm not a fan of any infinite resources. Yeah, it's kind of infinite resources. Yay! Infinite resources have a bunch of problems, besides being very contra-immersive for me. Yeah. Kinda, it's like, that's so unrealistic. If it was for me, I would have realistic um, physics in Minecraft to a certain degree, so that you're not able to build anything, everything, oh, right? There is like a certain restriction to having um, build certain building materials in certain ways. Yeah. I hear it with uh, cre creates a new tech mod you can like uh, kinda processing cobblestone further. So you get a lot of infinite items from cobblestone. 
Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's kind of like half the item stuff they do or so. Um, there's a hole. I saw some farm for infinity, uh, infinite TNT production for it. Wow. Um, there was a mod I remember that added physics to a certain degree. I know one item physics mod. Um, item physics. Items seem more realistic. There was a block physics mod, and I remember that it kinda when you lo loaded a vanilla world with it, it would kinda like be super laggy because it would need to adjust all the caves and these kinds of things to follow the rules. Yeah. Um, I don't remember which mod that was. But basically, yeah. It is, I think, a very interesting mechanic itself. I would absolutely love it. Since we are relatively... Oh, we have a lot of people to hire here. In our archery, at least. I hired two of them. And clicked upgrade again. Ah, I wanted to bump the florist up, didn't I? Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, but for our buildings mainly, I think it wouldn't change a lot because our builders usually build in a way that is fairly realistic. So maybe this would need a supportive beam here in the middle. But in general, buildings should work relatively fine. We would need other mechanics for our builder. <laughs> Time for a big raid if we have to ma uh, if we have unemployed people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it could be uh, super interesting. I have on my list planned something where I might have the builder place certain items first. Like in the first step the builder places logs, if there are logs in the uh, schematic. Yeah. And in the next he would then place uh, stone, cobblestone, etc. And in the next yeah. step he would yeah. then place the remaining things. Like those uh, structural blocks which kind of define the structure get this first. Mm -hmm. Choo -choo -choo. Where was it? Here, florist to the top of the list. And those we have currently in progress. That one is... Ah, we finally got the Fletcher being upgraded. Let me see if we have a Fletcher worker, by the way. I think we do. Ah, yeah, we have Benedict, our Not Fletcher. Me over that one, what is it? He's got some dexterity and creativity already. Now that could be if general what he got. I do think that he crafted a bunch of things already for us, though. List of recipes. Yeah, we have a bunch of things here too. Great. Do do do. We have a bunch of kids too. Here in our school. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> and we have guards doing something here in the bathroom of the school. Let's close the door. No one saw it. <laughs> It's okay, I hire some new guards. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah the, the bigger difficulty of a mod like that, you would have to, yeah, privacy, I'm sorry, disturb them. Um, you would have to very particularly define how 
certain blogs interact. You would definitely have a few things that would probably serve as beams and certain other things. Um, but doing that is like another whole can of worms. So not, a, not me. Not me. But someone should do it. I would love it. Oh, <laughs> thanks a lot for the sub gifts. That is v very generous again, Farouf. <laughs> Highly appreciated as always. Thanks a lot for the all the support you're giving our channel and helping us grow together. Doop, doop, doop. And I make these. And more stone bricks. There we go. And Vibe Arrow, welcome to the channel as well. Hi. Um, here, more. And I think that's fine for now. We do not want to fill this up to. I Okay. And welcome Cywiz as well. Thanks for the follow. And we are at 594, so we're missing only another 6 for 600 followers. I do hope we can do this this stream today. We don't have so much time left. For the what? Yeah. So Leave a follow, it doesn't cost anything, it helps the mod and the channel. And what helps the channel helps the mod, so it's great. Same letters, you're putting things on fire here in our colony. What? No. Where's fire? Where is this letters? I'm checking our research. <laughs> I did start research a little bit ago. So oh yeah. Um, minor. Minor fire resistance. The archer damage. But you can see it already filled up a little bit. Because we had the re three researchers and all of them got a little bit of a bonus. Yeah. Of the restart. Oh yeah, I want to get to our... Longer working days research. <laughs> oh, we need cake for that. Oh. Um. Ah, you. Um, yeah. You went down that rabbit hole, and then you got your new. Uh, your new warped style as well. Did you decide it? Did you decide yet on the name of it? Of the, uh, the name of the new style you're working on? Uh, of the nether style? I'm very unhappy with this. Pikmin, Pikmin style. Pikmin <laughs> style? No, it's because it's not... Pikmin. It's more like a... A nether colony, you know? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a, a new nether mob Pikmin. It doesn't fit because it, the one um, Erevan is doing could be a piglin style. That one could definitely be a, a piglin style. Um, I want it here. However, the one Kugo is doing, yeah, warped is probably the most descriptive way to take it. Is more. And ne like, if people try to settle the nether. Thanks. <laughs> We're trading I fish. Everyone has cooked fish from our restaurant. Yes. <laughs> I can help you with that. So she okay. is 
One progressing man here. Is feeding the whole person. Can't my card. Oh, do we have the update with housing on the archery? I do think so. Let me try to hire some. I did hire two at the archery already. Let me oh check yeah, out. I can't the... take more than two. It's the level two. Ah, nice. So that and is filling up. She's filling up here. Just going to continue filling up these areas and here as well because we're going to have kind of like a tube system here in the miner it was a lot of work as well <laughs> it would have made a nice construction for a blacksmith as well for example <laughs> and nice yeah. you can see now she is placing the water here the tubes are for water Here's some water missing yet, and those are for lava. Choo -choo -choo. I wonder if that here is going to be fixed, or if that is just because that should also be water, but I can just dive in later and fix that manually. I got here water. That is supposed to be water as well. Still got a little bit of sand stuck, I see. That's sand, yes. And this here is the Space Wars style, actually. Okay. <gasps> I can. <laughs> Quick! I can do this! I can make it out again! Yes! So now... Can I swim every... No, wait. Okay. And then... No, no, I want to go underwater. How do I start the swimming stuff? Here. Can I? Oh, there's some air here oh no this is bad okay ah glitching what is glitching me here okay now it went worked sometimes blogs do weird stuff um, here. So we got sandstone, sandstone and cut. And now it's looking nice. We got here the lava incoming and here some water to cool the system. Choo choo choo. And that water should be going up to here to be honest. And this here basically... It's missing still the lever. Do, do, do. Let me check on Fortune what she's up to. But let's check out our lumberjack ship as well. That looks very neat. Um, sorry for the hits to the microphone. That looks very nicely. <laughs> A nice ship. Um, so, Fortune. I can help you she with still that. has some lava in the lever now to place. Do, do, do. Where are you going to place the lava? Was it in here? No, here we're placing the water. Right. And someone. Ah, here. The remaining lava was placed. And now she's. Ah, here's the lead. So as far as I remember, ah, now that stopped working. Now that does work. So it had this mechanic here as well. Ouch! So that's kind of here, getting the lava out of the uh, out of the ground. 
and putting the lava in here such that it is usable in the miner in here. That's where the lava comes from out there. You see? Everything makes sense in the style. <laughs> Choo -choo -choo. That's weird. What's weird? That's our builders are 29 stone bricks, and further down the chain, it wants 4,000 cobblestone. Yes, that is the weird bug I'm trying to figure out. What's causing that? Um, something altered this recipe. Put a roof over that head. Something altered that so that recipe. What I wonder if everyone on the server has uh, having the same problem. That's what I wonder about. Um, oh, we don't have cactus wood in the system. <sighs> Let me put that in the warehouse then. Yes, yeah, stone smelter recipe, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a stone smelter recipe. Although stone smelter recipes are not taught. Are uh, they? No, they are taught, right? At least some are. Let me check that out. I forgot that they are taught as well. It should say it here then. Yeah, stone recipe. No, that's a normal cobble to stone yeah. recipe. And stone brick yeah. to cracked stone brick. I'm going to remove the cobble to stone recipe here. And I'm going to teach a new cobble to stone recipe. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Because I'm not sure we are rendering the numbers there. Yeah, look. Do, do, do. Let's see if that fixes it. There was a small place where there was some overlap that could be causing this issue. Upgrade, you said. What's next? There was a small place that could have been causing this. Uh, block of redstone. Okay, I can take care of that. Um, and that was where we are checking for the kept blocks of the builder uh, for the delivery man uh, and for the dumping so that could have caused this to derail theoretically practically i was never able to reproduce it myself but that could because we were not copying the item storage um, so that's possible that we then had an item storage call by value issue. Mm -hmm -hmm. Redstone. We have blocks of redstone here. I need to make a bunch more. But you're requesting a block of redstone. So that should be fine. I'm going to get you the block of redstone. And there's a difference between the redstone block. Redstone. No, it's all... Hmm. Redstone block. That should be fine. <laughs> Shiny, yay! <laughs> Mm, what is this? How? Do you have like that? That's the reason why I have to become a professor. I can't listen to another class in my life. I have to give them. I can't take them. <laughs> I had to take. Uh, I have to take a, a class this next semester again. Yay. Uh, yay! Yes, a lot of yay. Um, it's going to be fun. But as far as I know, it's more like going to a few, 
a, li an, a fixed amount of ta talks all over the during the semester and then at the end coming up with an idea for a paper or something like that it's oh. more or less that what I remember uh, however that's going to be interesting because of of corona so I'm going to be interested how that is going to to play out wasn't there a village in this direction? Was in the other direction? Possibly. So Yeah, it, we don't even we don't have to publish the paper, we just have to come up with an idea and write it and then get graded for the paper basically. But probably they're going to go with something like publishability in terms of the grade, I guess. Yeah. Um, the village more in this direction. I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere, the village. Map. Yeah. So there's a village here. Ah, it's this down here. And this up here. And another one here. So let's go north east here do we have a message comment command need work whisper it's msg at least although not sure if it's op only or so but at least for me it's working um, the dam. But that would not be a problem to. How would I say it? Make it uh, configure it to be non OP. Hi, Art, how are you doing? I think message commands is, are totally, totally viable. Um, no problem. Doop, doop, doop. There, the village. Because I'm looking for a village bell. I know they're raided already, but I need the bell. Just use a bell. Choo choo choo. There's the village. Did you can't craft it? No. What's this? All buildings need stuff you can't craft. Yeah, you have to get it from the from a village. But I had some custom recipe to not sure our mechanism. Ch -ch -ch. But apparently the the bell is supposed to be around here. So I guess the bell of this village here has been raided. Pretty sure. Because it's always around the center fountain. We need one bell. You have 66 yeah. bells. Odd. Can you tell me how you got 66 bells? Do I want to know how you got 66 bells? It's probably the better question. Master stones and form 66 villagers. I'm not sure about that, that's the thing. I mean, you can trade some at the Are you bought them from a villager? You're sure that you didn't dupe them through some of the ways you accidentally found out how to dupe things? <laughs> oh wow, we do have 19 people online. Yes, when I came online we also had around that. Um, so there was another village around here. Imagine 19 people on the Forgecraft server. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although it it got a, it got better now after the latest rats update. Yeah, false rats caused quite some lag. Yeah, imagine. it's because they had like when the player they were trying to uh, follow was offline. 
they were like doing a huge rain surge for oh, that player. Right. And that caused yeah. a lot of performance problems. Yeah, that's a lot of calculations to do. Chip, chip, chum. Um, the, the funny thing is that there is not a much you can do in terms of scalability, actually, John. Um, because the best, um, the biggest CPUs are usually not good for Minecraft. What you actually want is more like an i9 CPU and not yeah. one of those huge Xenons. Because those have usually tons of threads, but low single thread performance. In Minecraft, you want to have high single threat performance, so it's usually better to take a cheap i7 or i9. Good night, Greg. See you around. So I got the bell. Okay. Um. So that's usually uh, the better choice, and those are cheaper anyway. But yeah, it's usually good to have probably one of the newest um, newest generation i i9s or i7s because those have also a bunch of threads nowadays. I'm not sure if the newest gen has eight threads already. Probably has. Yeah, I guess so. My gen had six threads two years ago. Two and a half years ago. So I guess the newest has an eight. Because it's usually like one year they add two more threads and another year they add some additional nanometers. <laughs> um, or they remove some nanometers, probably it's better. And get some more single thread performance out of it. Yeah, that does that doesn't work anymore um, in modded Minecraft, John. I used to play on servers like this as well, but that doesn't work anymore. What doesn't work anymore? Forty to sixty players on a modded server. Oh. <laughs> that at, at least not on Forge mods. I think on paper that's like something maybe doable. Maybe, but it's also a big maybe, I would say. I think they can hold like 30, 35 or so. Yeah, yeah but this. like that's what I said, 40 to 60, already much more difficult. Yeah, wouldn't know of any who can do that on newer Minecraft versions. That in the past it was fairly possible, but in the last update that became fairly impossible. So I'm going to give these and the bell. Yeah, with, with Mojang Minecraft, you can, like, a vanilla server can hold like maybe 10. But even as far as I saw, even the the bedrock servers are not like yes. tons and tons of players. Mm. I mean, even high pixel, if you look at it, they rarely have. Uh, they have like a thing where you go from server to server, basically, right? So you're never yeah. with more than X people in the same map. Yeah, in instead of having to optimize it for one server, you just swallow more servers in it. Exactly, you just scale up the servers. Yeah. There so are a few mini games they have. Do the they have a few mini games where you have over a hundred people together. Oh. That I know, but they probably 
first of all, they have mostly, I think, 1.7 servers, like 1.7.9. And then they don't have any vanilla mobs or something like this, right? Yeah. So you got a hundred people, but that's only a hundred people and there's no chunk loading or anything involved, right? And mostly those people are at the same location, so you don't have a ton of chunks loaded either. Yeah, exactly. Vanilla servers and then having people around the same locations, limited map uh, size, etc. And then you're able to do things like that. Yes. Yeah, tons of item clearing. No, tons of entity clearing. Yeah, yeah there are some things you can uh, take out there. Although I do wonder... Oops. I do wonder how much we could get out of... Uh, performant if we had like only mine colonies. Mm -hmm. Maybe 25 or so. Because at the moment we have a bunch of people online already. And it's running fairly nicely. Yeah. Um, with And there are a lot of mods on the server as well. Yeah, as well. Some mods causing some... Like, uh, I would say like 20 percent or so is from additional mods. Yes, and then there is also the case that we have Terraforge, which is a bit heavier on the chunk loading. Yeah. So I think that probably with Performant, uh, yeah. Performant and Vanilla, or Performant and Mine Colonies only, and or Performant and some mods that don't do tick anything, <laughs> I guess you could go to 40 players or so. Yeah, I'm likely not at 20 years, but yeah. Uh, someone wants to trade with me. I hadn't seen the message. What's... And, and if you take a heavily modded 162 server... How do I trade? Use like five people. But I guess there's there would be probably some, let's say, hacky things uh, that could be done. Yeah. Well, thanks for the other bell, Odd. <laughs> there is probably a bunch of things that could be added to performance. Uh, to yeah, Minecraft has so many things you can improve. Like, um, like I said, like entity limits, for example, um, item pruning as well, killing off, really? killing off vanilla entities that take more than X um, milliseconds. Probably it's also. Hard, yeah. No, it's like what I, what I mean is like if let's let's assume we would try to go to the limit with. Um, on a server, there would be a bunch of possibilities, right? Oh, I didn't even see that. Welcome, Vibeck, Ro, and Skywiz to the stream as well. Didn't I see those? I, I think mean, if you really want, you can also kind of rewrite a lot of. Mojang stuff and add some nice multi threading support. Would take a ton of changes, but you can do that. I mean, if we add someday our AIs multi threaded, potentially we could have a config value to override all vanilla AIs, all vanilla mob AIs, 
and hook them in the same system. There, what we need. And that that would probably be not even a lot of additional work. Now you need some. Well, you ha would have to rewrite vanilla eyes. I no, but I mean mainly like in a, a naive approach, you would just uh, let's just multi-thread them. So we just copy the files. And then we hook the world calls into our multi-threaded system. Yeah. And so that the, the data access needs to be thread. Yeah, exactly. And then for different threads. And potentially put a bunch of don't tick every single tick things into them as well. Um, like can barbarians? On main um, I'm not sure if barbarians can path around the magma blocks, but in hard mode, barbarians don't get damage from magma blocks. That's something I know for sure. On, on hard difficulty, they do not take an environment. Yeah, hey, they don't um, take any environmental, environmental damage. damage. They only can take damage from entities. Look. Got all of here. Can put more in. Here. There. But if barbarians can jump off honey blocks, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think even our citizens can jump off honey blocks. Odd, you don't have to worry about that. Choo choo choo. So, that one is getting full at least. Is our university done yet? No, but it's going somewhere. Yeah, somewhere into the next millennia. Mm hmm. You, you theoretically you could just drop them somewhere. Weekends again. Oh. oh wow. We need seagrass, composted dirt, and campfire. Deep, deep, deep. Ah, wait up. Let's check on Avery and Connor. He's supposed to be working on this. Uh, I could help you with that. Oh, you're waiting for sandstone wall. Haven't I thought that to this um, stone mason yet? <laughs> Fail. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, nah. Yes. I hear it's a stone mason. Doop, doop, doop. Teach. Sandstone <sighs> wall. Sandstone, sandstone wall. Done. So that's going to be delivered to Connor, who's been waiting for this for a while, I guess. Um, I have shears, I do. But I'm not going to start collecting that right now. That's something for the next episode. Mm -hmm. Jumping up. So, um, let's give a last check to the university first. Have to check how the underground area is doing. I guess, considering the amount of stone bricks he's needing, he's also doing. Yeah, he's also doing the walls with it. So all these. Um, torches are probably going to fall off. So let me plant down a bunch more of those light bulbs all around down here. Because those torches, when they fall off, are going to be fun. I'm going to do that all quickly. Just 
else I'm going to forget about it. <coughs> Running. Of oh course, it needs some university. What? Our university needs some flowers as well, which we don't have. Yeah, it needs flowers as well. Yeah, allium and super. Are we getting a florist now? So I mm -hmm. do That's hope. Nice. So we only have to get the flowers for the florist, and then upgrade the florist, and yeah. that one is going to get the remaining flowers. Was it here? I have to go. I think. No, here it was. So it's the opposite one at this one. Hi, Mr. Chill. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um, chuk, chuk, chuk. Placing some lights around here. So. There we go. <sighs> <laughs> uh, John, next time on Mine Colonies, will Ray ever finish the university? Will Sam Letters ever find true love? Will Fortune start a trade union and demand better p pay? Find out in the next episode of Mine Colonies. <laughs> um, so definitely thanks everyone for tuning in today. And we're getting really um, to the end of our episode again. And it's getting late and time to sleep for me. We got a few things finished. We got the miner to level 5. The lumberjack to level 5. And I think another building finished. I just forgot. But I think there was a third one. Um, our university is progressing. We delivered over a thousand five hundred stone bricks to it. So I definitely would call that progress. I do want to stop delivering it because I want to see next episode if actually the recipe we, we made worked out. And we also had some research getting finished. And for the remaining research we will need a few more things. Um, do not forget tomorrow we're going to have a stream again that's going to start in around 22 hours so if you want to stay online and wait uh, be welcome you can also sleep within these 22 hours um, tomorrow is going to be on Forgecraft and uh, we're playing at the on Mondays and Wednesdays on Forgecraft However, next week is the last week of Monday and Wednesday streams. Afterwards, I'm probably going to go back to my regular training schedule. Um, welcome Gris2K as well. Even though we are finishing right now, thanks for your follow. And do not forget to tune in tomorrow. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in again and engaging in, with the ch in the chat with us. Um, thanks Sam Letters as well for being with us here um, yeah you will see the remains of the colony after the fire definitely and if you want to support the creation of this amazing mod yes we are the developers of mine colonies um, do not forget to follow subscribe and become a patreon to also get access to our fabulous patreon servers to all our Patreons and the non-Patreons, we are going to have a competition server we're going to start in around two weeks. Where Sam Letters is working on the pack at the moment, I believe. So do not forget to head on the Patreon yes. Discord and put your name in the list. Um, I think that's all I had to say, so anything else you have to say, Sam? Sam already mm, tuned out. No. <laughs> nah, he's still here. Uh, so, yeah. good night, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Just say ciao, Sam. Ciao. <laughs>